Hey, welcome to another vlog entry here. Um, wanted to take a minute because I really not have not had the chance to, um, and I wanted to do it before it became um, too late. I wanted to talk a little bit about the one year anniversary of Occupy Wall Street. Now, um, um, I've been in tune with the Occupy movement pretty much since its inception. Uh, inception probably about uh, oh two weeks or a week in um, when Los Angeles started their own chapter in downtown at City Hall. But basically, um, I went down and recorded some stuff. Actually, you can check it out on my YouTube page. I'll put some links up here. Um, did like kind of a an all around feel video, and then I did a one on one interview with uh, activist Shane Devins about the uh, the corporate power elite in the United States. But my view on Occupy uh, might differ from many of those people who were at the uh, movement at its beginnings and, and throughout. Um, I kind of look at it as a good intention gone horribly wrong. Much like the Tea Party movement um, started out with a bunch of um, disenfranchised Democrats and Republicans, uh, Libertarians, third party um, supporters, uh, basically saying that the government should stop spending more than it takes in, that uh, we should cut back on taxes, very much in the, the, the vein of, of basically uh, the Ron Paul movement. Uh, what became the Ron Paul movement in its very early beginnings. But much like the Tea Party movement, which was infiltrated and co-opted by the mainline GOP, the Occupy Wall Street movement, who started out very much in the, in the, same, in the vein of, of uh, being anti-corporatism, uh, calling out the collusion between government and Wall Street, um, the bailouts, um, TARP, so on and so forth. Um, much like the Tea Party movement was co-opted by the GOP, the Occupy Wall Street movement was co-opted by the big government socialists, the radical communists. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to say anarchists because anarchists, uh, I don't necessarily think that black belt black bloc anarchists represent a true anarchist ideology. Um, I actually question whether or not the black bloc movement is legitimate. Um, and many of them, especially as we saw up in Seattle in the late 90s and early 2000s with the WTO protests, um, were, were, were um, infiltrated by federal uh, agents um, acting, provocateuring, um, as black bloc anarchists, as well as Seattle police officers who were infiltrating um, these black bloc groups. So I don't necessarily believe that we can say or point out anarchism or anarchists as being, you know, ones that infiltrated and destroyed the Occupy Wall Street movement. But I do believe that the Occupy movement moved away from its roots and its beginnings as far as the message of anti-corporatism to a very um, socialist, Michael Moore, kind of like this whole idea that capitalism is the problem, um, acting like that the Occupy or the, um, the people on Wall Street, the bankers, are a part of some sort of true free market capitalist uh, entity. Um, and that's far from the truth if you really study up on what the difference between capitalism and corporatism is. It's the merger between the state and the corporate powers. Um, corporations give money to politicians. Politicians um, put lobbyists and former corporate bigwigs uh, of banking and corporation, corporate institutions into high political power. They make the laws, um, they make the legislation which favor uh, one corporation, private corporation over another. That is not free market capitalism, that is corporatism. So you saw um, 
the original message of the Occupy movement was very anti-corporatism to a very anti-capitalism, big government, government's the answer, redistribute the wealth kind of mentality. And I think that's exactly where the, uh, the Occupy movement went wrong. Um, why didn't Occupy stay around? Why did it fizzle out? Well, for one thing, you have a movement that really is not about doing anything but sitting around and complaining. They weren't political. They never said that they wanted to start a political movement, much like the Tea Party movement, which Tea Party movement ended up becoming the GOP movement. I mean, the GOP infiltrated the, the, the Tea Party movement, and they got people elected like Mark Rubio and, and uh, Rand Paul, who is far from any kind of true uh, libertarian, uh, true constitutionalist. Um, and... Uh, and uh, they got elected into office, and they're saying, well, why didn't you know the, the Occupy movement project some sort of political movement? Well, they said originally that this was not a political movement. So if it's not a political movement, what is it? It's a social movement. Um, and the social movement was to educate the people. Now, I thought this was the very beginning, early beginnings of a true people's revolution, a social revolution, um, but it became totally different from what it started out to be. It became a joke. Um, because socialists go in and basically say, we need socialism to right the wrongs. We need to get rid of capitalism. That is not what Occupy started out to be. So they got lazy. And the act of revolution and the act of social dis or civil disobedience did not take place. And they left. They got pushed out by police, and they left, and they disbanded, and went back to their dorm rooms with their their Apple uh, laptops, and that's where Occupy is today. It's uh, it's kind of a joke. Um, there was a real grassroots movement to make some sort of change, um, and it fizzled out, and it's really unfortunate. And this is what happens with grassroots movements: is they tend to get co-opted. And they tend to be infiltrated and the message becomes murky and not united. And it changes the whole spectrum and the whole movement as a whole. And I think that's what happened with Occupy. Um, would love to see some sort of real social revolution happen. But uh, in order for that to happen, it, it can't be infiltrated by uh, radicals who want to change the message of the original intent of the movement. Can't happen. So, Occupy, one year anniversary, um, wish it would have ended better, wish it would have ended with something more solid and something more united, but uh, it became a joke and, and uh, I witnessed a little bit of it, you know, at, at Occupy Long Beach, um, some of the ridiculousness. There's a video of them having a die-in at Long Beach Memorial Hospital that is just it's in the vein of Abby Hoffman, but uh, Abby would be like, what the fuck's wrong with you people? Anyways, that's what I wanted to say on Occupy. Uh, take care. Peace out.